fuck it is, man. Is you mad or not? Nah? Listen, we about to get into this Kaya versus Trina situation. Now, before we get into all the personal shit, before we touch on the disrespectful back and forth they had, let's look at the statistics, right? Because the statistics is the most important piece to this argument. Because Trina said to Kaya, bitch, I'm not having a song battle with you if you ain't got more than 10 hits. Kaya said to Trina, bitch, you ain't got no hits. <laughs> the only hit you got belongs to the nigga dick you rode in on. And that's Trick Daddy with no nag. You don't know nag, nag. And represent like the Yeah, so... Let's look at the statistics. So what I got right here on the screen is Trina's chart history on the Billboard, right? Now, these are a list of songs that made the Hot 100 chart. Going all the way back to 1997. It says she has 22 songs, but I'm not sure if that's accurate because I've been on this... Uh, I've been on this site for like at least 15 minutes before I started this video and I was trying to get it to load and never load it. So I don't know. I don't know. So we're going to deal with the information we got. All right. So the first song we got right here is My Love is the Shh. I never heard of this song, but Trina is featured on this song. She's not the lead vocalist. Like this is this. This isn't her song. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? It peaked at number two on the Hot 100 in 1997. Did I, I, maybe I did hear this song. Maybe I did hear this song. I think I did. I think I do remember this. But anyways, th this isn't her song, bro. People, that's the thing about you, 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 you uh, artists, bro. Y'all always like to brag about songs that you feature on. Oh, it was number one. I had a number one hit. No, you did not. The person whose song it is had a number one hit. You was featured on it. So to me, this don't count. This this don't count. No nah, nah, you know, nah, nigga, Trick Daddy. I believe, that was, I believe that was like one of his first biggest songs. Peaked at number 20 on the Hot 100 in 1999. This wasn't your song either, Trina. This wasn't your song. This was somebody else's song. This was Trick Daddy's song. So to me, that doesn't count either. Okay, here we go. That's crazy, ironic. I was really saying, here we go, and the song is here we go. All right, so the song right here, here we go. Trina versus Kelly Rowland. This is probably her biggest song right here. It peaked at number eight on the Hot 100. You feel me? It's her song. I, I can't, I mean, I would, you know, present an argument. We're going to talk about that, but not at this very second. But it was her song, and it peaked at number eight featuring Kelly Rowland. Be All Right featuring Ludacris. Uh, Ludacris peaked at number 50 on the Hot 100 in 2003. Bad Chick, that wasn't her song. You was featured. That was Webby's song. Shut Up. You was featured on that. That wasn't your song. Uh, what do you come here for? Trina and Tamara. Mm. I guess we can count this as your song. You feel me? I guess because it's both of y'all's song collectively. So, okay. Peak that number 14. Even though it isn't. I don't know. It counts, but then it doesn't count. You feel me? But it does count. Statistically, it does count. But to just to me, it counts, but it don't count. Uh, Pull Over. This is like one of my favorite songs from her. Like, this is the first song I ever heard from her. Peak that number 49. In 2000, Always. Featuring Monica. Peak that number 42. The Baddest Bitch. 64. In 2000. And like I said, it's supposed to be more songs, but it's not lowly, so... Now let's go back. Let's go to kids. Let's go to kids. Go back. My neck. My neck. My neck. My neck. All right. I'm pretty sure everybody remembers this song. Like, I'm gonna tell you. Let me. Let me say this. Let me say this. I will say this. Now, even after we look at the uh, her chart history. You feel me? Look at where this song charted at and the certifications it got and how good it did. This song right here had a bigger impact than any song Trina ever put out. This song right here is more legendary than any song Trina 
ever composed. I'm sorry, I'm not being biased. I don't give a fuck about Trina or Kai, but I'm just stating the facts. This song is still played, still listened to. You still me? Still remixed. People make club mixes in Baltimore. Like this song is still in rotation in 2020, bruh. Still to this day, to this day, to this day, this song is still in rotation, bruh. Still getting airplay over any song Trina ever made, bruh. And this song was made in 2002. Trina had songs that was made around that time. They not getting played today. Nobody is talking about any song that Trina made in 2002 or 2000 or whatever. They're not, bruh. So this is a legendary song. This song definitely had a bigger impact than any song that Trina has ever made in her life. You feel me? Only song that can compete with that is probably song she was featured on, like No Nine. But as you can see, the song reached number 42 on the U.S. Billboard Hot 100. So it's bigger than most of her songs. See, but my the, the way I look at it like this. Kid did this by herself. But if you look, let's go down. Uh, let's go to chart. Chart. What was that right there? This song reached so many other places. Trina... I'm not, I'm not going to say Trina never charted out of the country, but I'm pretty sure Trina's song have not have never made it to the places that this song has made it, bro. Look at this. Number 12 in Australia. Number 4 in Belgium. 30 in Canada. 10 in Europe. 20, 29 in Germany. 20 in Ireland. Ireland. 40 in Netherlands, 28 in the Netherlands, 8 in Scotland, 4 the UK singles, number 2 the UK dance, 42 of the, U the uh, US Billboard Hot 100, 20 in the, in the uh, hip hop and R&B charts, 12 in the hot rap song charts, 36 mainstream top 40, 14 in the US rhythmic, like, bruh, this song was everywhere, and it's between 2002 to 2004, I mean, after even two years later, this song was still moving, bruh. So if you ask me, technically, this song is bigger than any song Trina has made because it, it, it's like, okay, Trina had a song that picked that number eight. Here we go with Kelly Rowland on the Hot 100. And, her, and this shit was the 42 on the Hot 100, but her shit charted in other countries, bruh. Which means this song probably way, made way more money than Here We Go made. Because she was getting money from a bunch of different countries, from a bunch, a, a bunch of different ways. Like, this song, to me, like I said, this is my personal opinion from my, from my uh, analysis. This song is bigger than any song Trina has made to her by herself. And another thing, the point I wanted to make was Kaya did this by herself, bro. By herself. She didn't have any features on the song. She did it by herself. Every song Trina got, somebody's featured on it, but except for, I think, the, the baddest bitch. And I asked my girl, like, can you name a Trina song? After I was watching them go back and forth on the internet, I'm like, can you name a Trina song? The only song my girl could name was I'm Single Again, Back on the Prom. And I looked it up. That up. That didn't even make it to the Hot 100. It did not chart on the Hot 100. That song never charted on the Hot 100. And that was like, that's like one of her most notable songs. But it never charted on the Hot 100. You get what I'm saying? So, okay, I will give it to Trina. Kid probably does not have more than 10 hits. She probably has one good song, and that's my neck, my back, lick my booty, yeah, my girl. You feel me? But, Trina, mm, your 10 songs, you needed the help of other people. <laughs> and her one song kind of outweighs all of your songs put together, at least the hits, the ones that charted. Like, so uh, let's be fair, you feel me? Let's be fair.
Now, like now, right now, we're just talking statistics, bro. Now, let me say this before I get out of here, because they said a lot of bunch of shit, disrespectful shit about each other. The fact is, Kaya is living like she's on Section 8. <laughs> she's living like a bum bitch. Trina is living like luxury. Trina is definitely living a better life and probably more successful, has way more money than Kaya. But they're both bug outs. They're both thoughts. You feel me? They're both a bunch of whores. They both done sucked so much dick, their tongue is about to fall off. Like, like these bitches done sucked so much dick. <laughs> I'm not even good. Listen, both of these bitches are some whores. That's the point, bro. So it don't really matter, bro. You feel me? Yeah, Trina was fucking this person, fucking that person. It was funny when she said, when she said, every nigga she fucked. Something bad happens, though. Like, look at Lil Way. Look at Trick Daddy. Trick Daddy is... This nigga looks... I don't know what the fuck is wrong with him. This nigga looks like... Nigga killed his ass, stuffed him with, with newspaper, and brought him back alive. Lil Wayne looked like a fucking... Skeletor. Like... Hey, she got a point. You feel me? But... It is what it is, man. But statistically... Her song is better. Is I ain't gonna say better. That's that's subjective. That's to the, that's selective to the person. But her song is definitely bigger than all of your songs probably put together. <laughs> and with that being said, I holler. Is you mad enough, huh? Trina, is you mad enough? Kaya, is you mad enough? <laughs>